Hello, it's Marco here from Markham 3D. And in this video, we're gonna go from Blender to Substance Painter, back to Blender and import the textures really quick using Node Wrangler. If you can, hit the like button just to help the channel. And if you haven't already, subscribe. Let's get into the video and go from there. So I've got one object and it's all the way down to one mesh. So if I press tab, we've got everything here. Now, if we jump over onto the materials, we can see that we've got three materials. I've got the glass material, the actual everything, and then the emissive, which is just a little bit in the engines here. So first thing I'm gonna do is go file, export, FBX, save it somewhere, and let's just go export, jump over into Substance Painter, let's go file, new. Now I'm gonna have PBR metallic roughness algorithmic. I'm just gonna up the resolution. Let's go select. Let's select our sci-fi spaceship that we've just exported and press open. From here, okay. And you can see that our spaceship's now in here. From here, we go to the right and select texture set settings. Scroll down till we see bake mesh maps. From here, output size, I'm gonna increase that to 204080 as well. And then bake selected textures. Let's just bake them all out. What this will do is bake each of the materials that we set in Blender. Once it's finished, okay. Now we can come down into the smart masks. Sorry, smart materials. Let's just pick a material, probably this one, throw it on there. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. That is looking quite nice, actually. Let's come back into layers, delete that one. I want this one. I like the dirt. Mm. So I'm gonna leave everything else as it is. Let's go file, export textures, cause that's all I care about. From here, we select the output. I'm just gonna put it in the default for now. From here, I'm just gonna change the 8-bit to 16-bit. That doesn't need to be done, but I do it anyway. Let's now press export. And you can see all our textures have now exported. Let's go back into Blender. I'm gonna click on the shading tab. Let's make sure we've got the aircraft material selected. I'm gonna delete the normal map because we don't need that. From here, we need to make sure we've got Node Wrangler enabled. So we go Edit, Preferences, Node. I've already got it ticked. What we can do is select the principal shader, Control, Shift, T. Let's now go to the location of the textures we just baked. Let's select our aircraft ones because that's what we want and then principal texture setup. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. It did all that shenanigans all in one bang. And you can see that the materials have come through very nicely. Emissive shader, let's just go give it a little bit of emission. And we're currently in EV. Throw some bloom on. And that is looking gorgeous. So if you found this tutorial helpful, please make sure you like and subscribe. It really helps me out and keeps up to date with my content.